Most scientists believe all modern humans are descended from African ancestors. But a new analysis of an ancient Chinese skull found too many similarities to the earliest human fossils found in Africa to be a coincidence. Maybe we didn't all originate in Africa. A nearly complete hominin fossil cranium from Dali in Shanxi province, China was excavated in 1978 and is one that tells us otherwise. The Dali cranium was embedded in a lowest terrace near Jifang village, Dali County, Sangji province. Dali is reasonably complete and well-preserved, with damage restricted to post-depositional crushing and displacement of the palate and left maxilla. A large section of the right parietal is missing, as are all of the maxillary teeth and left zygomatic arch. It belonged to a member of the early hominin species Homo erectus. Its facial structure and brain case are intact despite being dated to around 260,000 years ago. The Dali skull is so old that archaeologists initially didn't believe it could share features with the modern Homo sapiens. Zin Shi Wu found that most of the cranial dimensions and morphological features of Dali were intermediate between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, with Dali assigned to archaic Homo sapiens. Wu's interpretation of Dali's anatomy was used to reinforce his long-held view of the evolutionary continuity between mid-Pleistocene Homo erectus and more recent human populations in China. Craniofacial anatomy and vault shape are distinct from European Neanderthals and earlier European hominins like Petralona and Atapuerca. Date of the fossil was found through a uranium series dating of ox teeth from the site, obtained a date of 209,000 plus minus 23,000 years. However, the nature of the association between the hominid cranium and the ox teeth remains uncertain. Dating of the skull is a matter of debate. A new analysis performed in 2017 used a variety of methods, arriving at an age estimate of about 260,000 plus minus 20,000 years ago. Given what is known about the Chinese hominid fossil record, for instance, the consistent dating results for Zucodian locality 1, a date of this magnitude would not seem unreasonable, said the scientists. Several small stone artifacts, primarily scrapers, were also recovered from the site. Xin Shi Wu of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing believed that due to the overwhelming physical similarities, Homo erectus must have shared DNA with Homo sapiens. After decades of this idea being dismissed by mainstream academia, Wu and a colleague Sheila Atreya of Texas A&M University recently reanalyzed the Dali skull and found it may force us to rewrite our evolutionary history after all. It's incredibly similar to two separate Homo sapiens skulls previously found in Morocco. While Dali's vault is relatively robust with a mixture of Homo erectus and Homo sapiens traits, the facial skeleton is much more like those in modern Homo sapiens. Digital reconstruction of the damaged facial skeleton suggests that facial height was not great, although the alveolar region was well developed. The nasal bones are not particularly broad, but are flattened and the nose of Dali would have been broad and low. What makes Dali particularly important is that the facial skeleton is reasonably complete. This is an unusual situation in China as the only other middle Pleistocene hominid to have faces in China is the Yunxian Homo erectus which is very distorted. Access to Dali is restricted. The Dali cranium is housed in the Institute of Vertebrate Paleontology and Paleoanthropology, Beijing, China. This is very little information with a lot to say, don't you think? Well, do let me in on your thoughts guys by dropping a comment in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Till then, this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video.